about a cold morning here in Utah. Just a few days ago, I was riding my dirt bike and my BMX, and then we have this. Like, come on Utah, make up your mind. What is going on here? I am 100% done with winter. You can, you can see my breath, it is cold. I wanna say it's 11 degrees right now, and I'm sure I have a lot of you. Where you live, it's probably even colder. I don't know how you guys do it, but oh, this is driving me up a wall. I gotta get somewhere warm. I hope you guys enjoyed that little cold start. You know, I know it wasn't that, it wasn't that good. It wasn't all super smoky or anything, but you know what I mean? It is a newer truck. That exhaust whistle though sounds amazing. Since we are waiting for the truck to reach operating temperatures before I get on the highway and head to work, I figured now is a good time to do the introduction to the vlog. So, once again, it's your boy Bug. If you guys are new to the channel or stopping in for your first time, first off, thank you. Second, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with post notifications on. It's that little bell up in the corner or I don't know where it's at, but definitely go find it and click on it. I hope every single one of you are having an awesome, great day. Don't forget to smile, laugh, and have fun. Live it like it's your last. Go out, chase your goals and your dreams, and just kill it. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the thumbnail and the title to this video. I know that is, that is not clickbait. I actually wish it was, but uh, it sucks so bad. I'm going to... I'm gonna get to that in just a little bit and I'll explain what happened. As you can all tell, I am now currently at the shop and really before we dive into this video, I want you guys to scroll down and smash a like on today's video. You know, it kind of made me feel better about what happened with my wheels. Let's shoot for uh, 2,000 likes on this video, but I want you guys to close your eyes and use your nose to like the video. No cheating, let's get it. Uh, dude, I don't even want, I don't even want to look at it again. Nah, come on. Oh no, no, why? Why me? Oh, it looks so bad. That's so cringy. That is oh, so much money in wheels too. And I've had them on for what two weeks? Nah, bud, get back. Nah, dude. Come back here. It's all right. Come on, come show them. Sick of this. is how I deal with my anger. I truly, really don't know what just happened, but that's a quick little example on how I can deal with my anger after seeing my wills, which you guys are now, I think it's time about to see. I just wanna start off by saying that this is truly one of my biggest fears. Like, oh my, I never wanted this to happen and it did. I hope you are all ready. Please don't make fun of me too much, but there goes nothing. All right, as you can tell, there is nothing, nothing. Oh, there is the beginning. Oh, what's that? It keeps going? Wait, what do you mean it keeps going? There's even more? Is that even possible? Wow, no way. I only curbed half the freaking wheel. Guys, I legit curbed half of my wheel all the way around. See, this is this is no chalk prank. This stuff does not come off. You can actually fill it, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but yeah, you can tell that is legit, and it goes halfway 
around my will. And I know so many of you right now are gonna start teasing me. I know what the first thing everyone wants to say is, but don't worry, I'll get it out of the way for you, is, wow, Bug, maybe you should have gotten a wider tire and not stretched them, you moron. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna say you're wrong. I'm not gonna say you're right. At the time these wheels and tires were purchased, these were the widest tires Fuel was making at the time. Now, yes, they are making an even wider tire for their, you know, their 24 by 16s. But again, at the time the setup was purchased, this was their widest tire to fit the wheel. And again, we are a dealer for fuel. We get a good deal on fuel. Um, so that's why I went with these fuel tires. I'm not just gonna can the tires right now because just so I can get wider ones because that would literally be a waste of tires. So I'm gonna wear these ones down and then maybe in the future I will get a wider set. But yeah, that is what happens. Now I can't really just blame, you know, the thickness or the width of the tire. Again, it is my fault. I went a while without curbing them. Well, not really as long as I wanted to, but there is a story behind it on why it happened. Alrighty, story time. Uh, I was heading home from the skate park with some homies. I was riding my bike, you know, Bug BMX. I still stunt my bike. And on my way home, I noticed another pickup truck on the side of the road sitting on its axle because it lost its rear driver's side wheel and tire. So it's just sitting there all lopsided. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pull over to the side of the road and see if I can help this person out. I'm looking for a spot to pull over, and again, this is on a pretty busy road, but you know, I'm wanting to be a good person to help out. I ended up seeing two other cars already helping him. So I was like, you know what, I don't wanna cause you know any more traffic or whatever. He's already got two people helping him. I'll just keep driving. But while I was driving, I was looking again for a spot to pull over and help and I kind of dove off into a little yellow median and as you can tell, I munched my will and that's what happens. Sometimes I just sit and ask myself, why? Why does the curbing will curse have to happen to me? It is all good though because it can be fixed and I'm going to be showing you guys that in this video on how to fix it, what you need, on how to make it look brand new. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna show you guys what I do, the before and after, and you guys won't even be able to tell that I ever curbed it, which I could have done. But you know, my channel, I'm gonna be real with my homies, my family, my supporters, you guys. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna keep curbing them. This is the last time, and it's my first. I'm gonna be very cautious from here moving forward. All right, step number one on repairing this wheel, I'm going to spray it off with some glass cleaner, get it real clean, and then I'm going to grind this and smooth it all out so it feels smooth and it's not rough and it'll just look better when you lay the paint on it. Then I have to mask off every single one of these and then we're going to repaint it and you guys won't even be able to tell this ever happened. This is what we have so far. We used a heavy grit and then we used a lighter grit and if you rub your finger across this, it is 100% smooth. I mean, you can't even tell that it was curved other than the paint missing, which is what we're going to do next. We have to mask off every single one of these, which is going to suck because it's circled and there's a lot of them. And then we will shoot this with a nice gloss black paint. I am dying this is basically my punishment for curbing the wheels. This is my timeout. This is literally the worst thing to do. But when I'm done, it will look right and not like crap, so it, it's worth it. I remember when I was in school, teachers used to give me these little smiley face circled stickers for being good, I guess. And those would be perfect to sit and put on these, but uh, I couldn't find those stickers. The wheel is finally done. But this is what it looks like. I ended up doing another layer of masking tape hanging out that way when we we're shooting it. It's just doesn't, you know, the overspray isn't terrible. Then it's okay if it gets on the tire because 
the tire is black and there's tires shine on the tire so it won't really stick. Anyways, now that it has been sanded, cleaned, uh, masked, it is ready to paint. I will be using a nice gloss black paint. I don't want to use obviously a satin or anything because then it'll look silly because even though the wheels are powder coated, it's still glossy and they're, man, those are filthy. But yeah, we'll get them all painted, cleaned up. I want to say something just real quick. One like equals one prayer for these wheels. Um, I'm gonna need that hopefully after I paint these. They look good as new. So you guys scroll down, smash that like button, help your boy bug out, and let's get these wheels looking new again. If you or a loved one are suffering from curbed wheelness, definitely give this video a share. That way we can spread the positive message on getting wheels that are curbed off the streets and getting them fixed. The wheel has been painted. Now we just have to play the waiting game. You know, everyone loves watching paint dry. It's one of my favorite things to do. Anyways, I will catch you guys in about 35, 40 minutes. I wanna make sure it's fully dry before I start peeling off the tape and then unmasking the little holes. So, so glad it worked. Look at that. You cannot even tell that these puppies were ever even curbed. All smoothed out, all repainted. Uh, you guys, I am so glad that it worked because these wheels are not cheap. Even just for one wheel, it is super expensive. Then you have to get it dismounted, balanced, and all that other crap. So. The technique did work. If any of you guys are ever in need of repairing a curved wheel that is obviously like fixable, you know what to do now. Look at that, they still even have that shine to them. Uh, I am so glad that that worked. Never ever underestimate a man with a can of spray paint. I do have a new addition to the truck as well. None of you guys would have seen it yet unless you are following me on Snapchat. If you are not following me on Snapchat, what are you doing? Go add me, it is right here. I'm always posting daily snaps of the fun stuff I'm doing or all the weird stuff I'm eating. But if you are an OG Snapchatter, you would have seen the new addition to the truck. That is correct. The hashtag clickbait sticker, you guys. And only the Snapchat has seen that. So if you wanna see stuff that I don't always put on YouTube, Go hit up the snap. With another t shirt give okay. What's up everyone? It's your boy Bug coming through with another t-shirt giveaway. To win this t-shirt, actually not this t-shirt, that's gross because I sweat in this one, but to win a t-shirt that looks just like this one, brand new, all you have to do, listen here, go add me on Snapchat, okay? Right here. Send me a screenshot that you liked and commented on this video for a chance to win. I'm gonna be going through everyone's uh, messages and I'm gonna pick one of your guys' screenshots showing me the like and the comment on this video. And the one I pick, you guys win one of the Bugman t-shirts. This is the front, this is the back. You'll look super fly. Go like and comment in the video, send me a screenshot, you know what to do. Other than that, it is going to be a wrap for today's video. But, you guys know I ain't gonna forget. I gotta do today's Instagram shoutouts, which are these homies right here. If 
you ever want a chance for your car, truck, or horse to be featured in any of my future vlogs from here on out, all you have to do is go follow me on Instagram at bug underscore BMX. It is going to be placed right here. Go give me a follow and then send me a direct message of your transportation. I truly do hope every single one of you enjoyed today's video. I hope you are all super stoked on the progress with Clifford the Big Red Dodge. I want to say thank you guys so much for the continuous awesome support on the channel. You guys are killing it on the likes and the comments. Let's keep that going. You guys, I said this in the beginning of the video, 2,000 likes, but you have to close your eyes and use your nose to hit that like button. No cheating. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button with post notifications on. We are almost to 36,000 subscribers and counting. Also. So many people are complaining like, wow, bug, you should cut your hair, you freaking hippie. You look like a girl, you look like a hobo, yada, yada, yada. Well, guess what? I got good news for you. Once I hit 100,000 subscribers, I will cut my hair however you guys want me to do it. I will leave it up to you, okay? So, go subscribe if you haven't. Once we hit 100,000, if you guys want me to cut it bald, I'll do it bald if you guys want me to do some something crazy, an old man haircut, I don't know. I'll do it once we hit 100,000 subs. I truly do love and appreciate every single one of you guys that watch the video, like the video, comment, or even buy the merch. If you're looking to get yourself some merch, you can find that in the top link in the description down below. Or if you wanna win a shirt, you guys know what to do. Go send me a screenshot that you liked and commented on this video on my Snapchat. And other than that, your boy Bug is out. I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace.